Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 26, Psalms 66 through 95, From Praise to Praise. Psalm 66 is a praise song for God's intervention in history and in our personal lives. How hard is it to praise God for both good and bad times? Psalm 67 is a joyful missionary song of salvation for the nations. How is God's attitude towards other nations revealed in this song? Psalm 68 is a song picturing the life of the believer, marching towards eternity with Christ as our head. What gifts of His love has God given us? Psalm 69 is one of two major imprecatory psalms, along with Psalm 109 calling for God to judge our enemies. How does David's life of being both sinner and saint relate to normal people? Psalm 70 is a cry for help. How important is it to see ourselves as poor and needy? Psalm 71 is a prayer for protection in old age. How have the righteous lives of elders helped you? Psalm 72 is the final prayer of David asking God to help him be a benevolent king. How important is it for a national ruler to have pity for the needy? Psalm 73 is a song by Asaph about the conflict between flesh and spirit. How foolish are the traps of the flesh? Psalm 74 laments that evildoers seem to get away with destruction while God's people suffer. How do we keep our focus on God during times when the wicked prosper? Psalm 75 warns the wicked not to boast. What will the wicked have to drink? Psalm 76 proclaims that God is honored among his people. What does the psalm say is important to know about God? Psalm 77 is a choir song about slavery and freedom. Do we remember a time when our darkness was turned to dawn? Psalm 78 encourages us to listen to God. Why did God choose the tribe of Judah instead of Ephraim? Psalm 79 calls for God to judge our enemies seven times what they did to us. How is this normal emotion? How differently does Jesus expect us to think about our enemies? Psalm 80 is a prayer for God to return and save his people. Why does God sometimes delay helping? Psalm 81 is a song about faithful worship of God with instruments and on annual worship days. How is a nation blessed that worships God faithfully? Psalm 82 is a call for justice from the heavenly court. How should national leaders act towards the poor and helpless? Psalm 83 is a prayer that God not remain silent when our enemies attack. What does calling God Father symbolize about protection? Psalm 84 is a song about the joy of worshiping in the temple. How can we learn to be joyful in God's presence at church? Psalm 85 is about restoring blessings to Israel. How can any people receive God's blessings? Psalm 86 returns to a Psalm of David with a prayer for mercy. How important is praying, Thy will be done? In Psalm 87, the children of Korah sing about Jerusalem. What does Jerusalem symbolize for Christians? Psalm 88 is the saddest of all the Psalms. What are some of the saddest times we have had? Psalm 88 is a praise song of God's love. How has God shown love to you? Psalm 90 begins Book 4 with a prayer of Moses about God as our home. How do we live in God all day long? Psalm 91 has a similar theme of God as our refuge. How are we safe in God even if we die? Psalm 92 is a song for the Sabbath assembly. Many Christians keep the spirit of the Sabbath law on Sunday. Police, nurses, pastors, and others Sabbath another day, also using the principle rather than the letter of the law. How does singing God's praises together bless us? Psalm 93 is about the Lord as King. 
How is God different than any human king or other national leader? Psalm 94 is about God's vengeance. How is God's retribution just? Psalm 95 is an invitation to worship God. What are some reasons to praise God in public? Well, that's it for this time. Until next time, be blessed.